does affect me. But anyway, to get back to the subject I want to talk about, man, what would you do if you're riding around in your nice looking vehicle? You know, not everybody has a slingshot, not everybody has a motorcycle. Okay. This is an eye catcher, like I said in the past. It is a eye catcher. It's a summertime eye catcher. Everybody's take notice of this vehicle when you're driving it. But I am coming across where I'm riding and the attention that I do get, it, it's good. But it's not always a good idea to respond to the attention that you're getting. And the perfect example, I was leaving a home, I was leaving my home one day, and I was got stopped at the light. And it was uh, three teenagers, three teenagers was at the light, walking, going you know, across the um, the walk path, you know, when you at the light, they I can't think of the name, but the cross section or whatever, they, the, the, uh, when they walking, when the light turned green for them to walk across the street, I can, man, I can't think of the name of it. But anyway, there was two females and uh, a guy. And the guy came up to the slingshot on the passenger side and said, hey, can my friend, and he pointed at one of the girls, can my friend ride with you because she really like your vehicle? And I'm looking at this dude, man, like, Man, she look like she's on the age. I said, if I put her in my vehicle, that can be considered kidnapping. And I hurt that little young lady's feelings when I said that. But at the same time, I'm not about to go to jail for nobody. <laughs> so, have you ever come across it where not just that particular type of incident, but these younger folks, which I mean, are not at, of legal age have they ever someone ever stopped you and asked you can they have a ride with you or on your motorcycle or in your slingshot or in your car i to me i just can't understand the mindset of what is going on these days and i and i'm gonna i'm gonna bring this up you know back in the day my sons, I'm not going to say which one, uh, was dating. I, I got some handsome looking sons. I ain't, you know, I'm not going to lie about that. And they are, they are some eye catcher, eye candy, whatever you want to call it to these younger females. I, but I used to have their fathers dropping them off at my house, at my front door to visit my son. I mean, fathers are dropping off their daughters to see my sons. And you know these guys would not come back and pick their daughters up until the next day? Who does that, man? Who does that? It is so much backward stuff going on in today's society dealing with young folks. And honestly, the parents are behind half of the stuff that goes on, and I don't understand it. Back in my day, if your dad was dropping his daughter off to go see a guy, he was actually there to chaperone them to that for their date. <laughs> Dads these days are dropping them off like, get this girl out my car and let her stay the night with you, and I don't care what happened. To me, that's what you just did. And I'm like, hey, man, you okay with that? And I got to ask the father that did it. Is You are comfortable with leading your 17-year-old daughter here at my house with my son. You know what his answer was? I'll pick her back up tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> If this had existed back in my day, I'm pretty sure I would have more, more kids than I should have or than I do because today's parents don't care. They don't care. 
And I'm like, if you're dropping off, if you're doing stuff, some like, if you're doing stuff like this, then you are allowing it. What are you allowing these kids to do in your own home? And that's what be throwing everybody, throwing me off about what everybody does, man. And I'm like, I don't want no part of it. I don't know if I ever told y'all the story, but back in the day, a couple of years ago, I had the police raid my house. You know, my house got raided several times. But this one particular time, my house got raided because they thought I was doing a porno or something. And somebody called the police and said, underage girls are going to that house and they're not coming back out to the next day. So whoever mysteriously called the police had told the police and they came up with a search warrant looking for minor kids. But what they told the police was, I'm the one who got them there. So the police came in, raided my house, took my all my computers, took out all my electronics, and set me back, because I was trying to run my own business back then, set me back about 30 days on trying to recover and get some money coming back to my house. So you got some foul people who does foul things like that, and then would turn around and tell the police, you know, because they hating on you, or what is going on in your household when they don't have a clue. They just making up stuff and calling the police. The point I'm trying to make right now is should you turn once you find out who did that should you turn around and turn them in or try a file try to file a lawsuit against them because I got some neighbors that just can't mind their own business but yet the police is coming to my house raiding my house back in a, you know a couple of couple of years ago all because some jealous neighbor it's all up in my front door trying to call, you know, trying to find out what's going on and calling the police. So, man, I'm telling you, my life has been <laughs> a story out of a nightmare book. And that's why I have no problem coming up with content to talk about because everything else goes, in, goes on in my life. And I'm like, man, if I videotape some of this stuff that's, that goes on, if I you know, use a hidden camera to tell y'all or show y'all some of this stuff that goes on, I'll be the one getting locked up. But can't nobody hurt me or uh, file charges or you know, bring up charges for illegal recording them when I'm just telling them, telling everybody the story. So that's why people say, hey man, you always telling us these stories. Why don't you record some of this stuff and show us what you're talking about? I can't, man. I can't. I can't record people without them knowing and, you know, to prove to you all that this stuff be happening. One, I ain't out to try to prove nothing to nobody. I'm telling y'all, hey, this is what happened. This is how I dealt with it. But, you know, people be like, man, you got so much to say. So many different topics to talk about. It can't be real. I'm like, dude, you cannot make this ish up. You can't. You can't make this ish up. So that's why I'm able to talk about stuff, man. And I just be wanting to get y'all opinion on it. And, and, and find out what would you have done in the situation that I have encountered and this is how I handled it and I'm telling y'all so be prepared for a lot of stories coming your way <coughs> and believe it or not this stuff is going to be recent because I don't talk about the past <coughs> and I wish I, rec I could record it but I can't one, you have to give a person permission uh, to be recording them unless it's in public and I'm riding the road and my camera's facing on the highway and I catch something, you know, that's public. But me having a private conversation with somebody and I got a recorder going in the back, that's not public, you know. So I can't do it. And most of the time, the stuff that happens, 
be out there and it be privately. So I can't share it like that. I can tell y'all what happened, but I can't show it. So man, <clears throat> just wanted to say thank you to everybody that, you know, flow your blessings, your prayers. Keep me, uh, keep me there, keep my family there. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get going, you know, get past this. Uh, I'm going to try these new remedies, these new medications that I just got prescribed. And uh, I'm going to go from there, man. I'm not going to look back at this at all and, and try to figure out what's wrong. I'm just going to live my life, man. So, again, thank you. And, uh, hey, that's my spill for the day, man. Oh, in the comment section, tell me, have y'all came across some of the stuff I be talking about, I just talked about in this video? Is, does that really exist uh, or what? Because this stuff just can't be, you know, happening in my world. It, it has to be some. It has to be going on somewhere else, man. So just leave me a comment, comment section, and, and uh, let me know how's the things going in your world, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, hey, YouTube, that's my spiel for the day. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.